The holidays present special problems for our pets because there usually seems to be more food available for them to scavenge off of tables, but also we also have parties, we have food dropping on the floor, we have lots of family by, we have little kids who might be feeding the, our pets uh, under the table. Um, we all worry about overloading on the, the animals on fats and on sugars and causing diseases like pancreatitis or gastric upset or vomiting and diarrhea. But even beyond those diseases, there are toxins that can be found in some common holiday-like foods that we have to be really aware of. So um, the number one thing would be chocolate. And I think that, again, most of us are aware chocolate contains theobromines, which are structurally very similar to caffeine. And just think for a moment how you as a human being react to caffeine, especially if you've had a large amount and it's something you're sensitive to. And you have to consider that our dogs are really sensitive to a lot of these ingredients and in foods because they don't eat them on a daily basis. They don't drink their uh, lattes every day on the way to work. And so when they're exposed to caffeine, it, it, it's a big jolt. So again, this is a substance that's similar to caffeine. Chocolate does contain caffeine, but it also contains theobromines, which again, structurally very similar to caffeine, and stimulate the nervous system. And when that happens, the dog might get really hyperactive. It might be kind of like a sugar rush in a little kid, but it's, it's much more intense for the dog than just a sugar rush. Their, their nervous system is actually being overly bombarded with stimulation. And the dogs can get, because of that, they can get very anxious, which then further worsens their clinical signs. Um, and it, when dogs are really, have a very high dose of theobromine, they'll get that nervous system stimulation that can progress to seizure activity. They also tend to vomit quite a lot. And that's a really horrible combination for a dog. If it starts to have a seizure and is also vomiting, there's a huge risk that it's going to actually uh, inhale some of its vomit into its lungs. And the chance of a dog recovering from that is extraordinarily low. So chocolate can be very deadly. Again, I think it's something that we're all familiar with. We do take some precautions, but there are a number of other food ingredients that we see around the holidays or we see in baked goods that many people aren't aware of. A good example of that is our macadamia nuts. And I think that there are a lot of people out there that just are completely unaware of that. As a toxicologist, I can't tell you what the toxin is in macadamia nuts because we haven't discovered it yet. And so I can't predict how much is going to be toxic to a dog, and I can't even predict which macadamia nuts are toxic. But I can tell you that fresh, roasted, and macadamias that have been used in baked goods are all equally as toxic.